What's going on YouTube? My name's Andy and I'm from Little RV Big Life and today we are going to do a intercooler pressure check on a 6 liter diesel power stroke engine. Hello and welcome. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button because we post videos about our adventures every single Monday. Today, we are going to do some more maintenance on our truck because we plan on doing a trip very soon and we are taking our camper and pulling it with the truck. So we need to make sure that we are reliable and we make that trip just fine. So the, the things that you're going to need is some type of cap with an adapter to an airline fitting. This adapter here is a four inch to a inch and a half. And then I put an inch and a half cap in it and I drilled and tapped and put in a airline fitting here. All you really need is to go from four inch all the way down to an airline fitting, however you have manageable to do that. This is just the best way that I had available to me. Next thing you are going to need is a spray bottle with some soapy water in it, and you will need the appropriate tools to get the intake pipe off of your turbo. For me, that is going to be an eight millimeter. This concept works for all boosted engines so you can test the intercooler piping system to make sure that there's no leaks. If there's leaks in there, you're gonna have boost leaks and your engine is not going to work as efficiently as it should. So we're gonna go ahead and get our hood popped here and I'm gonna show you how exactly to do this test. So you're gonna start off by removing your intake, which mine runs right through here. Then you're gonna take your adapter and put it on the front of your turbo. You can also do this where you just take off the intercooler pipes straight from the turbo, cap both ends, and pressure check it that way. I like to do this so you can check the gasket that's on the back of the, the compressor housing for the turbo. What you're going to do next is you're going to attach your air hose to your adapter here. I have it regulated down to about 20 PSI. I run max about 30 but I'm going to check lower just to see if there's any leaks and then we'll incrementally raise the pressure on it to see if we can find any more leaks. Now we can hear a leak happening and all we have to do is find it. Just follow the sound and it looks like ours is right here on the front of the intercooler and if you can't hear any leaks, what you're going to do is spray with your spray bottle on all of the joints and if you see bubbles then you will know that there's a leak there and it needs to be fixed. We're going to go ahead and get this intercooler replaced and continue the test. Alright, now that we have the intercooler replaced, we are going to go ahead and check this again. As you can hear, we don't have a whole lot of screaming like before. Can hear some airflow. Now it sounds like we do have a leak going to our map sensor. There's a little tube that comes off of the top of the manifold that goes over to the map sensor. I'm gonna get that hose replaced, and that's all you do. You just keep following over and over and over again until you don't find any more. So after fixing the intercooler, we actually gained another four psi inside of the system that was not leaking out through that hole. That is how simple it is to do a intercooler pressure check on your vehicle. Anyways, for now, if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comments below. My name's Andy, and I will see you in the next video.